as we know, uh, coronavirus is a, is a new it's a new condition. We're not aware of, uh, we haven't been aware of this particular condition before. So what we're able to do is we're able to extrapolate from our knowledge about what medications may be or may not be effective for those uh, previous conditions and extrapolate that to, to coronavirus. And that's really the, the starting point for the, the research that we might do. There's been a lot of debate uh, in recent uh, months and weeks uh, about what's called off-label prescribing. Uh, off-label prescribing refers to prescribing of a, a medication uh, for an indication or for a, a route of administration or perhaps for a particular patient group that's not uh, in the approved product information. The, the recent example of hydroxychloroquine is a, is a good one when we think about off-label uh, medication use. And so hydroxychloroquine is a medication that's been uh, around for a long time, long time originally as an anti-malarial. It's also prescribed for uh, rheumatoid arthritis and for, for lupus. Um, when we found that it was being prescribed for uh, coronavirus, uh, that was a good example of an off-label use of that medication. This did raise a lot of concerns at, at the time. Uh, here at the Centre for Medicine Use and Safety, we, we focus on observational research. We use, for example, administrative data, like our pharmaceutical benefit scheme data, to be able to identify possible adverse events and to inform uh, clinicians and other researchers about these, these events so they can be followed up proactively. As more and more inf information becomes available, it becomes more and more important that we're able to critically evaluate that information to inform the decision about whether or not we decide to take a medication or in the case of a, a doctor or a pharmacist to prescribe or dispense that particular medication. Active surveillance of, for example, a new COVID vaccine would certainly fit into that um, particular category. There are many different vaccines that are being developed around, around the world. So we may not necessarily use the, the same vaccine in, in every place. And uh, even, for example, comparing different vaccines, um, that's an important role that people working in medicines use and safety will uh, undertake.